Hello everyone, Justin from Out of the Basement here, and today, before we even get into the topic of the title in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a little, kind of like a little channel update. Nate and I have started to do some Star Wars gaming live streams. We've done one for the past three, almost four weeks now. We've been doing it consistently on Sundays at 1 p.m. Central Time. The first week we did like the Star Wars Minecraft DLC. The second week we played the EA Battlefront 2. Then we played the classic Battlefront 1 this previous week. And this week, tomorrow, Sunday, we are going to be playing the classic 2005 Battlefront 2 on Steam. My Steam name is Salacious Jarek. If anyone wants to join the game for the stream tomorrow, again at 1 p.m central time on steam battlefront 2 so i think it's like a new nice little interactive way to engage with the audience and also it's just it's been fun it's been really fun so we want to make it a consistent thing going forward all right so now let's get into the topic of today's video and that topic is hiding action figures particularly in the store so for some new collectors, I'm going to explain a little bit on what that is. I know the veteran collectors out there are going to already, of course, know what I'm talking about. But it's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically when you go to the store, see a figure that you really like, and for whatever reason, probably monetary reasons, you hide it somewhere in the store to pick up at a later date. I kind of wanted to talk about is that an okay or ethical thing to do according to us because I recently had a an experience so I'm gonna explain a little bit about what happened we use websites like pop finder here at out of the basement scalpers use it so you true collectors out there you might as well use pop finder as well or other websites such as Brickseek. I think it's totally acceptable especially for those exclusives out there to use pop finder because the scalpers are going to use it regardless so you might as well use that tool against scalpers as well for some of you that may or may not know i have been looking for the incinerator trooper and the regular white phase one clone trooper now the incinerator trooper recently the pre-order did arrive from big bad toy store so i'm not worried about this anymore this happened about a week ago but it's just an, anno an annoying experience that i thought i would share so I saw on Pop Finder that Wave 27 was, you know, the heroes of Endor Wave with the Incinerator Trooper, Cad Bane, Armor, and the Han, Luke, and Leia. They were hitting targets near us. So the next city over from mine was showing that they still had five. So I thought I'd go check it out. I go into the aisle and I see Han, Luke, and Leia, the three commons, right? But there's five. I took one of the figures, I scanned it on their little tablet things, and it said five on hand. Well, there was only three in the aisle. It's really annoying, and it's such a waste of time, because I can make a pretty good guess that it's either the armor, Cad Bane, Incinerator Trooper, or uh, the, the Clone Trooper, the one that I was looking for, or the Incinerator Trooper. And it's just annoying to know that it's there somewhere in the store, but who has time to excavate an entire target location, you know? Uh, so it's just an experience I had that I, I found rather annoying. And this has happened a long time. For example, the Mandalorian build-up pack, another target exclusive. There is one a uh, few cities over, you know, for a 75 mile radius, everything says zero except one location and it has the number one on it. So that essentially means either an employee is hiding it and not purchasing it for whatever reason, or a customer came in, hid the figure, and is just waiting months. I mean, it hasn't been months yet, but you know what I mean. For the previous wave of Black Series figures, this was happening as well. Like the Stormtrooper, the Beskar Mandalorian, that wave, there was a target showing two in stock, but and it just wasn't going away ever, which, more than likely means someone hid those figures. And the reason I know this is not like a, an inventory checking website issue, it's not a Brickseek or a Pop Finder issue, is because Target's own inventory is saying that they have them on hand. Even when you go to the store, ask an employee, they'll scan it in their little, you know, device and it'll say in stock and it'll tell them exactly how many 
are in stock and they won't be able to find it because someone is hiding them. You know, I, I have mixed feelings about people who are hiding action figures. One way that people are hiding them I've noticed at specifically at target locations is near the bottom of these aisles there are these rack shelving units that you can actually lift up and there will be stuff in there that people hide. Nate and I have foiled people's plans for hiding Marvel Legends, Black Series. We've foiled a lot of hiders plans doing that and honestly there's no more satisfying feeling. It's how I found the Gamorrean Guard that was a Target exclusive originally and I you know didn't really have an opportunity to get one since so I wouldn't have got it if I didn't foil some hiders plans out there. Uh, you know I originally thought you know this was like a kiddish child thing because it is kind of a really childish thing to do if you ask me. But now I'm starting to think it's more so fully grown adults who are hiding toys in stores. It's annoying for people who are using those, who know things are there and simply cannot find what they're looking for just because you didn't have the money at the time and you had to go hide. I mean, it's, it's like, how entitled are you that you're gonna go into a store and hide stuff so other people can't buy it just because you couldn't afford a $20 action figure. I mean, it, on one hand, I definitely hold that opinion. And yeah, on, on the other hand, I also think it's incredibly annoying for people who are just trying to hunt. Of course, we subscribe to the idea of pre-order, pre-order, pre-order. And if you can't find it in the wild, go ahead and, and just, you know, keep your pre-order. If you do find it in the wild, cancel your pre-order. But this is ruining the hunt even more so because of Hasbro's poor distribution that has been going on with the Black Series. Uh, I shouldn't say poor because it is good in some areas. It's, it's a very scattered distribution and you're making it even worse when you're hiding stuff. And especially, you know, maybe hide it, come back the next morning and grab it. But no, people are waking up at six o'clock in the morning going to target and hiding the mando build-up pack somewhere so they can i don't know wait weeks and weeks and weeks before they go back and buy it i mean uh for people who might have not experienced this or know about it i mean they can literally hide it anywhere in the store it it's not even necessarily going to be in the toy aisle um especially in target sections we have found people trying to hide it in the neca section and you know behind like bigger products in the toy aisle but hypothetically it could be anywhere in the store it could be under the aisle it could be like in automotive behind oil or something you know what i mean so it it sucks knowing that a figure is there in the presence of the store and you're not gonna find it because you can't excavate the store and find it and not to mention i recently brought this up I was trying to find the Mando build-up pack, or was it... Yeah, it was the Mando build-up pack that someone was hiding. Or, to be fair, an employee might have tried to hide it as well, or buy it for themselves, putting it in the back. But the manager was getting upset at the situation because, from their point of view, it's an item that should be in stock and was on this shelf, and now it's not. So they were also uh, communicating with loss prevention as well, because at the end of the day, guys it's against store rules to just randomly hide products intentionally throughout the store i mean so it's annoying it's a waste of time for other collectors who know that it's there it's it, i'm gonna say it's almost sort of childish like you need to hide a toy so you can come back and get it later i don't know it's just to me that's a rather childish thing to do let me know I'm, i mean i'm not gonna say ultimately it's unethical or anything like that i just find it extremely annoying so i think it'd be interesting if you guys would let me know what you think about that and also at the end of the day it's against the store policy and target has been cracking down uh even more with some new policies that they've been communicating to their employees However, we don't know if that's about action figures. It might be about like the Xbox Series X slash PS5 or other popular Christmas items like that. We don't know if that's particularly action figures, but 
a step in the right direction to be sure. So at the end of the day, my final catharsis, yeah, it's annoying. I think it's rather childish if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I might understand doing it if you come back first thing in the morning or the next day and getting it, or maybe you're truly, and I mean truly, uh, notifying a friend that a hot figure is there and maybe you, you put it behind something and then that friend comes and gets it. But that's not what I've been experiencing. These figures have been sitting and sitting and sitting in stores for months and I know it's not a website or inventory issue either because it will say in their own inventory that they have it so it's somewhere in the store and it sucks because there are the overwhelming majority of us who have our priorities straight and have the funds to collect and are ready to buy but we just can't find certain things because people are hiding it behind bigger items in the toy aisle and guys check those things you can lift them up in the target aisle we have foiled so many people's plans by doing that which i think is 100 percent okay if you find a figure that someone was trying to hide of course that figure is yours now and if you find a gold mine if you find a fresh case of the mando build-up pack buy one and just leave the rest you're not helping people by buying an entire case and reselling it at cost plus shipping you are not doing anyone any favors just leave the figures for the next collector anything at all that you guys are feeling on this subject i know there might be quite a few people who disagree with me about hiding figures. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep it civil because at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not trying to throw any hate. Whatever. Maybe I am. Who knows? Anyway, guys, I've been Justin from Out of the Basement, and we will see you guys in the next video.